Uh, hello, hello, everybody. My name is Sebastian Grosicki. I'm a professor of medicine and the head of uh, University Department of Hematology and Prophylaxis uh, of uh, Cancer Disease uh, in, um, in Medical University in Katowice, Poland, in Silesia. Uh, and uh, I'm a principal investigator in uh, Pratia Oncologia uh, Katowice, the, um, the study unit uh, center. Uh, um, it's my pleasure to present you the data regarding the uh, uh, safety leading cohort. This is part one of the phase three uh, magnetism five study results uh, about uh, elranatamab in combination with daratumumab for patient, patients with relapse uh, refractory multiple uh, myeloma. Uh, so Elranatamab is uh, the humanized uh, B-specific antibody targeting BCMA on multiple myeloma uh, cells and the CD3 on uh, T cells. Uh, data from previous uh, phase one and phase two studies uh, demonstrated uh, that Elranatamab monotherapy is well tolerated. It yielded about 60% of overall uh, relapse rate. Uh, here we present the safety and preliminary efficacy result from part one safety leading cohort of uh, magnetism five uh, phase three uh, study of uh, elranatamab uh, with combination with daratumumab in patients with relapse refractory from multiple myeloma. Uh, uh, as I said, it is the part one of this study. Uh, the study is ongoing now. It is op uh, open label multi center phase three study uh, now recruiting uh, part, part two. But uh, here we uh, can see something about uh, part one, uh, when uh, were um, uh, included patients treated uh, minimum three lines previous uh, chemotherapy. Of course, the uh, adult patients. Uh, with no uh, stem cell transplantation within uh, within 20, uh, 20, 12 weeks uh, of enrollment, um, uh, with no active uh, GVHD, no previous anti-CD38 uh, therapy within uh, last uh, six months of the, the first dose, and no prior uh, other BCMA-targeted therapy, including CAR-T, uh, and uh, monoclonal antibody. Uh, those in schedule you can see here, uh, the preliminary uh, result uh, endpoint uh, is DLT. Uh, case secondary, of course, uh, are other, uh, or like uh, uh, overall response rate, CO rate, uh, PFS, uh, MRD, uh, and, uh, and other. Responses were evaluated by uh, M M uh, W G criteria by uh, investigator. Um, what about the cohort of these patients? You can see here uh, on the poster the details. Uh, we included uh, to this part one thirty four patients. Uh, um, uh, you can see here the characteristic of this. Patients' um, median duration of treatment uh, for this analysis one, was uh, 1.9 months. Uh, what about the safety uh, profile? So Elranatamab uh, in with combination with that map was well tolerated uh, with no new safety signals uh, due to this combination. We, we uh, not observed uh, DLTs. The most great three or four TAEs were hematologic, mainly, uh, as you can see here, neutropenia. No uh, non hematologic TAEs uh, were preliminary grade one, one or two. Uh, and so I should underline that 15 patients uh, died due to TAEs in this cohort, uh, only one. Uh, grade five uh, because uh, of uh, cytomegalovirus pneumonia uh, was related uh, to the uh, study treatment but by the investigator. Uh, other not, uh, majority of these other uh, deaths were driven by the COVID-19 pandemic. Uh, the treatment of this patient is about 
uh, one years ago it was winter and uh, spring of uh, 2022 and uh, after this uh, uh, these problems we uh, included uh, the details recommendation to the treatment of these patients regarding the uh, uh, prophylactic treatment of uh, anti-infectious. Uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, the recommendation of the vaccinations, uh, tests of these patients, and uh, we uh, recommend uh, the substitution of, of immunoglobulins to these uh, patients during the treatment. And, and now uh, we cannot see these problems in these patients. Uh, what about the eyes of special interest, uh, like CRS and ICANS? So uh, step up priming doses uh, that you can see be, be before uh, of uh, elranantamab with premedication so successively mitigated the rate of and uh, severity of CRS and ICANS. CRS was uh, limited uh, to the grade two, or one or, or two, and uh, it was... Uh, occurred, uh, these events occurred uh, early and resolved quickly. Uh, we can see uh, this uh, in 15 patients after the first dose only uh, during uh, these uh, previous two days and the resolution of CRS was uh, maximum two days. Uh, no patients, no patients permanently discontinuated treatment of uh, due to the CRS and no patients experienced uh, ICANS in this uh, in this cohort. Uh, what about preliminary efficacy? Uh, so, uh, uh, as uh, of data, cut off median duration uh, of treatment one point nine months. Overall response rate per investigator was about seventy percent. Uh, median time to response was very short, one point one months. Uh, and the probability, probability of maintaining response at six months was 81%. So it is very promising data. So in conclusions, uh, in combination uh, with daratumumab uh, given subcutaneously, these drugs was both given subcutaneously, uh, can be safely administered uh, in combination uh, at the recommended uh, single agent dose. Uh, with no new safety signals was observed due to this combination. Uh, it, is, um, it should be underlined that th this is uh, the dexamethasone free regimen. Uh, it was uh, efficacious and well tolerated in patients with this cohort of relapse uh, refractory multiple myeloma with high uh, response rate, about 70%. Uh, toxicities were uh, may manageably, uh, no DLTs were observed, and uh, must be underlined that step up priming doses of elanotamab with premedication successively mitigated the rate and severity of uh, CRS and ICANS, uh, as I said previously. So the result uh, of this part one uh, of this study uh, support the ongoing part two of uh, magnetism five. Uh, study evaluated uh, elranatamab monotherapy or elranatamab with combination with daratumumab versus uh, standard treatment daratumumab pomalidomid dexamethasone combination in patients with relapse refractory multiple myeloma who uh, received uh, a minimum uh, one line of previous therapy. Thank you very much.